Hi everyone, my name is Abigail Jonas and this is my personal goals video presentation. Uh, to start us off, I just want to introduce who I am, give you a little background. So again, my name is Abby Jonas and I grew up um, on a farm outside of Albert, Kansas, which is population about 100 on Highway 90, K96. Uh, I currently live in Hoisington, Kansas with my family. My husband, Shane, we have been married for seven years and we have a little boy. His name is Cal. Uh, we are both very career driven, so sometimes can be a good thing, sometimes can be a little bit against us, but we've learned to work it out and support one another. So uh, completing my master's degree, um, he was very supportive with this. Some of our hobbies include um, anything outdoors. We are very big in athletics. Uh, we support our local high school um, we, by attending every game. I coach for the high school, and we oftentimes will sneak up to Hayes and cheer on the Tigers as well. Uh, family time is very important to us, along with traveling. I will say one little um, side note about our family. We are very um, avid Packer fans, so today is a very stressful day you can imagine on playoff times right now uh, we have to get past the Lions so but we travel up to Green Bay every summer to attend uh, training camp and this year we are going to take uh, our four-year-old up there for the very first time he's old enough now to kind of hang to kind of make it through a day and so that's kind of a highlight coming up that I have along with hopefully graduating my educational background, so I graduated from Great Bend High School back in 2011, and then I went straight from Great Bend to Fort Hay State University, and where I completed my bachelor's in science with an emphasis in elementary education, K-6, and I then went from Fort Hayes, and I came back home to teach at one of five elementary schools here in Great Bend. I started out at Jefferson Elementary School, and I taught kindergarten for six years, so 2015 to 2022. Uh, then this year, I decided to take a leap of faith, and my goal was to move into an instructional coach position and kind of gain some leadership. Well, this year, I moved to that, and I am now overseeing two elementary schools. So I am the technology specialist, librarian specialist for two elementary schools. Um, so I, I work alongside the principals, um, I do a lot of technology, organization, maintenance. Um, I do a lot of budgeting when it comes to new books in our library. Um, I'm also just starting, this will be my second time of overseeing two buildings parent-teacher conferences, so I am in charge of um, scheduling around 600 conferences. So really gaining that experience when it comes to organization and um, being the leader on a big project within two buildings. Uh, I also coach for Great Bend High School. I have been coaching for Great Bend for roughly almost nine years now. Um, I started out as a softball coach while I was still in college and um, have since turned into one of the volleyball coaches. So I've gained a lot of experience working with adults and families and communicating. So athletics have a lot of, they offer a lot of support. So then moving on, going from who I am to some of my goals. Um, I am a very goal-oriented person. Um, I have my goals written on my fridge right now. So, uh, so some of them that I would like to complete within the next one to five years. Um, I want to complete my master's of admin, um, advance my career and move to a coach position, which I have been able to complete. Uh, and I would like to share my passion for education with my son who did start his first um, year of preschool and so far has stayed out of trouble and been successful. So fingers crossed that continues for me. And then I would like to add on to our family. Um, the next six to 10 years, uh, move into an administrative role, which I currently have just landed an interview um, for one for next year. So I'm excited. Um, so that goal might be completed a little bit sooner than I thought. And then watch and support my son as he embarks on his educational path. Again, both parents of his, they are, we are both driven in education. And so I would like to see him continue that as well. And then beyond the 10 years, support my son as he makes his plans for college or trade school. Um, I'm a big supporter of trade school. That's what his dad did. So I'm all for it. And then be settled down, um, back on our family farm. 
And so those are my personal goals, some of my professional goals. Um, within the next one to five years, completion of my master's, and then begin interviewing for potential principal positions. Um, if I don't have a principal position by then, I would um, I would love to move to a secondary position to gain experience outside of elementary. I've only been in the elementary level since I started, and so kind of seeing what it's like to work in an academic setting with some of those older kids, I would like to experience some of that. Next ten, six to ten years, um, I would like to accept an administrative role and begin looking into schooling to become a superintendent or an ed specialist. Beyond 10 years, I would like to begin and enroll in classes towards my superintendent license and then make my way up into a district level position. Uh, we have a curriculum director here and I find her job very interesting um, and that's something I would like to shadow and kind of see what she does, get an idea of um, what her daily responsibilities are. So beyond my 10 years, I would like to move up to a district level for sure. Why I chose Fort Hay State. All right, well, I have to be honest with you. I'm old now, so this was many years ago. Uh, the main reason why I chose Fort Hayes was because coming out of high school at Great Bend, I was offered a scholarship to be a student athlete at Fort Hayes, so I um, played softball for the university. And again, many years ago, couldn't do it now. Um, so I will always say Roll Tigs, and um, I think that's one of the main reasons why I came back here. Um, I felt like I wanted to be, um, I wanted to make sure that I graduated from the same university that I got my bachelor's in, and it just seems like home. So, of course, it's affordable, and I love that it's local. If I need something, I've, I'm an hour away. I can drive up to an office and get some help, and then I have always thought that Fort Hayes had such a strong reputation in its education program. My sisters have graduated from Fort Hayes as well, and so it felt like a tradition and um, I wanted to keep that tradition al alive. Um, when it comes to my expectations, I'll be honest with you, I did not know what to expect when I started this program. I had a sister that went through it many years ago and she told me, don't stress, like it'll be okay. And I'm sitting here going, all right, full-time kindergarten teacher, full-time mom, how am I going to swing all this? Uh, so really coming into this, I was just, I was going to stay confident and see wh what the, um, what I could get done. Um, I really wanted to know the responsibilities and expectations of an administrator and kind of get a glimpse of what they do or what the role of a principal is, um, which going through the program and looking back on it now, I would have to say that the case studies were so beneficial. Um, I would do those over and over again if I could. Uh, just to practice getting in the mindset of what an admin role um, would be like on some of those situations. And then just the overall job, you know, you go from a teacher and you're working so much with just your class and now taking over the staff and the students. Um, the instructional coach this year has shown me a, um, has given me a lot of experience on working with teachers, which I think is huge going into looking for admin type jobs um, just because it's completely different working with students and moving to adults. Um, so there's a lot to learn and I think this program really helped me um, and prepared me for some of that. So overall I'm excited to get everything done and get moving forward in this practicum. Um, so I hope everyone is enjoying their Christmas break and roll tags. <laughs>